All right, what's up, my task gang? 2488 Neo Hippies, this is Paige, and I am here with a new video. This one's gonna be on the Akai Professional MPC Live. This works for the Live 2, the 1, and the X. So, the only difference about um, the, the instruments are the configurations of the dashboard. But let's get into it. I got an email from one of my subscribers stating that he's had the MPC live since launch. And I, th I think that's what, like three, three, four years, who knows? But um, <laughs> he's like, hey man, can you help me out? Um, the workflow has been an issue for me. I've only used the thing about three or four times and I don't wanna sell it, but I'm not using it. And I would love to use it. So I'm like, yeah, I can help you with that. I've been blessed to be able to teach, even though I try to run away from that, but I'm just gonna embrace it because I'm, I'm good with manuals and learning how to use stuff. <laughs> and learning how to use it in different crazy ways too. Now, this one's gonna be on the workflow. So typically when you start up the MPC, it has this screen or there are two other variations of the screen. None of this, matters to me you also have uh some of these uh different sound packs that they have here and once again none of that you know none of that's my thing i like to start off with an empty pattern now sequence pertains to where you are in your song you can be at chorus verse bridge pre-chorus hook whatever you want to call it sequence pertains to that everything in that sequence is pertaining to that area section of the song all right so in my case i'm gonna take my finger and press this a i tab i'm going to change this to chorus slash hook all right so now I know that this is my chorus slash hook of the song. I have an option of changing the BPM for just this sequence or by hitting the sequence tab, I can make a change to all the sequences that are going to be in my song. They will all be at 104, all right? So that's up to you. Bars, right now it's at two bars. I can take it up to where I like it at eight bars. And here I have an option of making it loop or not. And this is transpose. If I was like, um, I, you know what? I'm just gonna stick to the basics so that this video can be pretty short, all right? So sequence pertains to where you are in your song, all right? Track, track pertains to the instrument that you're using on that track. So you could be using the pads. You have the pad icon. You could be using a plugin. You have a plugin icon. You could be using a key group. You have a key group icon. You can also be using clips because you have a clip icon. You can also be using MIDI because you have a MIDI icon. Now, as for me, let's just start with track one being drums. You're gonna hit this AI button and you're going to tap in the name of the track, all right? Sorry about that. And here we have track one as your drums. Then you have program. Program pertains to where that information is coming from. So in my case, I have track one as my drums track. So I'm going to be pulling those drums from sample pack one. All right, so now all the drums that I have loaded will be in sample pack one. 
which will be that program. Now, let's say I am finished creating my drums, right? And I now want to pull a bass sound in. That bass sound is going to come from my Roland Verse Lab MV1, right? So I'm going to be using MIDI. I'm going to change the track and click the MIDI tab. And now I'm going to create a MIDI program by, oh, go back. I'm going to create a MIDI program. I touched on the MIDI and now I'm hitting AI and I'm going to change the name by double clicking here and typing in verse lab m v dash one and i hit do it and now track two is my bass sound i can name it whatever bass sound is in the verse lab or i can just put bass so <laughs> now we have the verse lab on track Two, I need to come over here and make sure that my MIDI is correct. Um, on the Verse Lab, I'm using MIDI channel one in my sequence, which has a bass sound on it. And I've chosen MIDI channel one here, or it's been chosen for me. You're like, Paige, I can't hear anything. Right, you can't hear anything. So let's go back down the program and let's touch this MIDI port and turn it to the right. So if your MIDI out is MPC A out to your verse lab, use A. If it is B, then use B. So you have two options here, all right? Now, when you hit your keyboard, you will hear the bass sound from the verse lab. The greatest part about this is that. <laughs> my whole life I wanted a sequencer like FL Studio and, and Reason had just in hardware because I don't have a problem I'm, I'm not like a DAW hater I don't have a problem with DAWs it's just when I'm ready to go I'm ready to go I, I want to start working right away and I haven't found a program that will allow me to just get in and start working right away and I'm good. So that's the reason why I use hardware mostly. It's not about hating DAWs. Um, none of that. And and I'm not a big person on reverbs and, oh, wow, this, this, I find a good reverb and I use it. I think a lot of times, um, that's the reason why I'm changing this channel around is a lot of times that we get into stuff we start looking at what other people are doing and, and really you have to learn what you need to learn so that you can do what you do as opposed to doing what someone else does. And if you find a reverb that you like, use it, make your songs and, and outgrow it. I, I think everything that you get, you should use it until you outgrow it. A lot of the stuff you won't outgrow, but you know, you might add some other textures in, but for right now, learn how to use what you have and use it well all right so let's go back well let's go back through it two more times but i'm not going to be uh doing all of the uh touching i'm just going to go through each part so that you'll know it two more times that way i know that you know that you know it all right so sequence pertains to where you are in the song all right track pertains to the sound or the samples that you're using in the song programs pertain to where that information is coming from if it is coming from in this case the drums you're gonna have a drum program that you name i named that one sample pack but you can name yours whatever you want to name it if you are using um midi you notice i'm using midi it changed to a different type of program and i named it i named it after the machine that that information is going to come from and there you are so 
program pertains to where that information is coming from track pertains to what's on that track bass drums keys guitar whatever sequence pertains to where you are in the song right now i'm in the chorus i could go to another sequence and be in the verse relatively simple but i know when you you get into hardware it's a little different so one more time sequence pertains to where you are in the song verse bridge chorus hook pre-chorus whatever intro outro that's what sequence pertains to track pertains to what instrument is on that track in that sequence so bass in this case on track two drums on track one all right program pertains to where that information is coming from on the track two that information is coming from the verse lab mv1 on midi port a midi channel one on track one that information is on the pads icon and it's coming out of the sample pack that I have set up. All right. So let's talk about this one more time. Sequence pertains to where you are in the song. Verse, chorus, intro, outro, bridge, pre-chorus, hook. Whatever you want to call it and wherever you are in your song, that's what that sequence is going to be about. Track is pertaining to what's on that track in that sequence. In this case, drums are on track one and they are on program sample pack. The information is coming from the sample pack that I've set up. Samples for the pads. On track two i have a bass on that track two it is a midi device and the information is coming from the verse lab mv1 on the midi program midi port a and channel one if you had another device like i do i have a bunch of devices but let's say i had another device and i and i wanted to um put that on MPC out B, I would have my chord king on MPC out B and it's receiving information from channel two. All right, so that's how that works. Everything about this instrument is simple. Once you wrap your head around the workflow, then you'll be able to do everything. And I'm gonna go through this so that you'll know and I'll know that you know. So thank you guys for watching my video. You guys have a good day. Goodbye. It's Paige. It's Paige.